That's the place to be on the balcony of the pub window beer in Taylor's Arm here south of Coffs Harbour, famous for many reasons here in Australia, but today it's about the WRC. WRC two cars coming through into Park Ferme and shortly we'll expect our ARC teams to come in after two stages this morning. New, fresh stages to this rally. A great chance for us to catch up with the ARC contingent to see how their morning's gone. I think we're four seconds up on um, Sullins. Okay. And he did. He actually got us by point one in there, okay. which I'm, I'm happy with that. He's going well. Yeah, he's going yeah. good. And uh, Eli's sort of obviously easing his way through. He's he's sort of managing his tyres. He's a bit panicky on his, so he's trying to straight line the driving. You're saying I'm not changing my driving style. I'm still going for it. Yeah, no, I'm just driving normal. So <laughs> I'm getting lots of uh, lots of crowd reaction out there. So we're, they're, they're enjoying the jazz and enjoying the way I'm driving it. So I'm enjoying the reaction as well. It's good fun. And look, I'm having a ball. It's just nice to be rallying. The last stage, the first K and a half, I was all over the shop and really didn't have any rhythm and it sort of come to me at the end. Uh, I put 900s on the car and that was probably a bad tyre choice, I think, because it's not a swept line at all out there and it's really slippy, but they probably held up all right. So what Tony Sullins is talking about there, the 900 Kumo has a more, more block length on it, so it's not as open gap as an 800. What you'd normally run that on is on a swept line because you can see how much contact's on there. So when it's loose, this runs across the top. Probably less worn out than an 800, but he's struggling for a little bit of feel. But as you can see, probably the wear rate's not too bad, and his times are good to boot, so it's a big juggling act for the teams. My biggest concern at the moment is just trying to get these tyres through. So um, I've, I feel like I've first stage I probably drove at 95%. Um, we had probably 60% of our tyre left in 8K, so I've had to drive it about 70% through the last stage, basically not slide it through any corners, take almost like a, a tarmac racing line the whole way. Um, hopefully we don't hemorrhage too much time, but I think if anyone's having a, a real go through there, they'll get the benefits, but then they'll take the hit on the tyre wear. I'm still, I was still struggling for traction at the second half of that stage there. So we're on the medium 800s this morning, so it's probably the uh, tyre that's going to chew up the most out of uh, what everyone's running, so um, I guess that is positive. So you're pleased with the pace as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely happy with the pace for the first time, as I said, in the car for a few months, so um, yeah, definitely happy. You got nothing. We lost brakes in the, the previous stage, um, so we've come down here and one of the, uh, the, the banjo um, that connects the brake line to the brake caliper in the rear had um, come loose. So obviously every time we braked we were just losing all our fluid, so no fluid and, and absolutely no brakes. Um, so, but thankfully we've, we've carried some fluid and we've able to uh, tighten up the, the bolt and um, pump some fluid back through the system. And I mean for sure there's still a lot of air, I don't think they're going to be perfect, but I've got a pedal so I don't really care.